Hello, I'm Ed Broering. I'm an Applications Specialist for Agilent Technologies Systems Product Division, and I'll be showing how to test the power conversion efficiency of a three-pin regulator. This testing is easily accomplished using a N6782 source measure module for functional test. Together in the N6705B DC power analyzer mainframe, this forms an ideal platform for testing voltage regulators and other similar types of power management components. Here I've breadboarded a three-pin voltage regulator, the input being connected to channel one of the DC power analyzer and the output being connected to channel two of the DC power analyzer where I've installed two of our source measure modules, one providing power to the device under test, and the second providing a load function to the output of the regulator. In my diagram, I'm displaying the input and output power of a voltage regulator as it's swept from minimum to maximum loading. And efficiency is basically the ratio of the output power to input power and is displayed here by this dashed line. To test this, we were providing a source function with one source measure module installed within our DC power analyzer mainframe to provide a fixed bias voltage to our 10 volt regulator. And we have the second N6782 source measure module operating as an electronic load, pulling power from our three pin 10 volt regulator and we'll have it sweep from a minimum to maximum load function to be able to test the efficiency over a range of loading conditions. To set up the DC power analyzer for doing the measurement of power efficiency, the voltage regulator, we'll use the 14585 control and analysis software. The first thing we need to do is set up our instrument modules for sourcing and loading operation. And to do that, we'll select the instrument control tab on the left-hand side to bring up our instrument control display. We will first set output one up for sourcing. And I'll go ahead and select setting voltage and current parameters in output two. And we want to select it to operate as a two quadrant power supply it's operating in voltage priority, and we've set it for 13 volts of output to power up our three-pin voltage regulator. We now need to set up output two to act as an electronic load. Let me select output two, and here we have the source settings for output two. We have selected CC load operation from our list of pre-configured settings. This pre-configured list of settings allows you to quickly and easily set up your various modules for different functions. We've set it up for minus 100 microamps of current drain. Again, negative current is because it's acting as an electronic load. And this is our starting point for our loading condition. Now we set up the DC bias conditions. Let me move the instrument control panel out of the way again. we want to set up our arbitrary waveform function. So here on the top of our screen, I'll select our arbitrary waveform setup screen. And what I want to do is apply an arbitrary waveform to output to current drain. So going down to the bottom of the screen for output two, I have selected CD arb function for creating a load sweep on output two. And I'm starting my load sweep at minus 100 microamps, or DC bias starting condition. And I'm sweeping up to minus 50 milliamps of current loading. Again, I want to test the low level efficiency of our regulator. We're particularly interested in low level uh, efficiency. And I'm performing the sweep over to two second duration. So now we've set up our arbitrary waveform to sweep the load on output two, we want to go back and, and make measurements. So I'll use the scope screen for doing that. So I'll select my scope screen tab on the top. And now 
I'll need to set up my measurements. So down on the bottom of the screen, I'm selecting output one power, which is our input power to our device under test. And I've selected channel two power, which is the output power of the three channel or the three pin voltage regulator. And I've also set up a formula trace, is a, which is a calculation for efficiency. Let me go ahead and select on the formula trace. And it's a custom formula. We have custom formula capability built into the software for creating such traces. And as you can see, I'm doing a calculation of the uh, output power to input power for determining efficiency. So now I've set up all my measurement conditions. I also set up the triggering of the measurement to start on the uh, arbitrary waveform sweep or the load sweep. So now all I need to do is start up my measurements. So going to this scope button, I'll start my acquisition and it's waiting for the ARB to start. So now I'll click on the ARB sweep and we are now acquiring our measurement. So what I have displayed here is the yellow trace is the input power. The green trace is our load power, our output power. You can see it's sweeping negative. That's because it's a load. And then the red trace here is our efficiency curve we created from a custom formula. And let me grab my marker one here on the left-hand corner and I'll move it to say 50, per, or 50 milliwatts of loading on output two. So here I'm roughly at 50 milliwatts. Down here on the bottom of the screen in the numerical results, I have 50 milliwatts of power being drawn. And I'm seeing down below it for the formula trace, uh, 37.1 for the percentage of efficiency. So this is how you can measure the efficiency of a load regulator using the N6705 and 14585 software. And so this is a way to make a measurements of the power efficiency of a voltage regulator easily and quickly accomplished using the N6782 source measure module for functional test together with the N6705 power analyzer and 14585 control and analysis software. Thank you.